Hello and welcome in a Mariners Minute as the Harwich Mariners are set to take on the Katuit Kettleers. I'm Austin Rooney alongside my broadcasting partner Thomas and Zarella. And Thomas, before we jump into tonight's game, let's talk about the last game they played on Sunday and also yesterday's game at Fenway Park. So starting with the game on Sunday versus the Wareham Gateman, Mariners were up early but were unable to hold on to that lead and ultimately fell 7-6. No, it was definitely a tough loss. The bats came out early on and we were able to score a few runs. Uh, just unfortunate. The game didn't be able to score back in the ninth inning and score four runs. Uh, give their, to their credit, their offense is very good and they can come back at any time and score a, a lot of runs. And that's, that's what happened yesterday, uh, or on Sunday, excuse me, uh, in Wareham. And yesterday, the Horwich Mariners were at Fenway Park for Pro Day going through a number of events. Scouts were all there taking a look at all the players. So, what were your thoughts yesterday? It's definitely a unique experience for us and for the players as well. Um, you know, not many guys get to play at Fenway. Obviously, there's a handful of guys from the Northeast, you know, such as Gallon has, has been able to play Fenway before. DC, you know, Army, Navy played a game up there early in the year. So, again, unique experience for some guys, you know, they don't normally get to take DP on a, a major league ballpark. And, and uh, some of these guys, you know, will make it to, to the pros, and, and, and unfortunately, some won't. It's just, it's just baseball. So, I think this is definitely an experience that some guys will help carry the rest of their lives, you know, right until the grave so it's for us too that was unbelievable to be up there it was an unbelievable experience Gabe Rivera one of the guys who stood out hit five home runs in batting practice over the Green Monster and transitioning into tonight's game versus the Katuit Kettleers the Harwich Mariners send Will Mathis into the mound yeah, Mastin really been sharp so far. Pitch back type with good starts against Paul. Starts against Whitey and Chatham as well. Going really deep, you know, five, five and two thirds uh, into both those games. He's looked really well on the mound, so I'm excited to see uh, how Mastin comes out against this Killers offense. And on the mound for the Cavaliers is Bryce Bonin. He's only made one appearance so far on Cape Cod. What do you look for out of him tonight? Well, he's, he's made only one of his appearance, and it's, it's his first start. So we'll see how long he can go. Um, through this game. It could be again it could only three or maybe not even four innings. So um, again, it could be kind of a bullpen type of day for Katua. You know, again, they had the off day yesterday in, Fen in Fenway, but um, they might just uh, be putting him as a spot starter. Maybe someone they're going to transition to the rotation. We'll have to see. And, and Bonin so far, he pitched two and thirds against Hyannis. So there's not really much of a sample size uh, at back at Arkansas, although he did pitch a couple games in home Omaha. So he does have kind of that a top tier experience uh, pitching in Omaha and in TD Ameritrade Park. So we'll see what he can bring out this evening. And who do you spotlight tonight for the Harwich Mariners? Who do you look to have a big game? Um, I really want to see the bats, you know, really expect to see the bats come out again here. Last time they uh, played right here at Willow Park, they scored. Uh, uh, 10 runs in the victory and over now 14 hits so the bats really came alive out early too so I'm seeing I'm hoping to see a couple bats you know Aaron Shunk or Tanner Moore so those type of guys and Limpsies as well those kind of guys near the top of the order we come out again Shunk so far 5 for 10 against the Cavaliers pitching well that'll do it for us with Mariners Minute we'll see you on the call at 5 p.m. when Bryce Bonin takes the mound for the Katuit Cavaliers.